Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Uh, obviously, we are doing Bambox once again. Uh, this is for the, oh my god, I'm in such a time warp, the July. Ugh, this is the July Bambox. Uh, and the theme for this one was supposed to be Animal Influence, which I was like, mm, that's kind of a weird, weird theme. But here's the good news. Here's the great news, actually. There are a few changes coming to Bambox. Um, one of the things being that they're actually going to keep it at a capped limit for the actual boxes. Um, that way, you know, the, it'll be able to be a little more exclusive and also it's not going to really compromise who they can get as far as like signatures, autographs, artists, stuff like that. Um, so if they keep it on the lower end, they don't let it get too big. Certain people who would otherwise say, ah, that's too many autographs for me to do might not say that anymore and they'd be like, yeah, I'll do something for Bandbox. So that's one of the cool changes. They're going to keep it limited. The other thing is they are, and I'm super friggin' excited about this, they put out for a vote should they get rid of their themes. Obviously, by my reaction to this animal influence theme, I'm not huge on the themes really because you can hit ones like this that just seem odd. And you're just kind of like, meh. So what they wanted to do, they floated the idea, hey, how about we get rid of themes? We'll do a vote on it. And 82 or 83% of people who voted in it said, yes, get rid of the themes. So this will actually be the last themed box. The August box, which we're currently in August, but we'll get it at the end or maybe very beginning of September, The that August box will be themeless. Uh, and so what they're basically doing is just kind of teasing a few franchises that they're going to have stuff from and just say, oh, we'll have something from this, something from this. Um, but it's just a mix. And I like that way, way more. Uh, they said they felt like the theme was kind of making them a little too pigeonholed into what they needed to do and they actually had to pass up on some cool items at certain times or some cool people to get autographs from. So this way they're totally open and if something really cool comes their way they can just say yes to it because they're not, they don't have their hands tied by any sort of theme. I'm totally for that. I'm so freaking psyched for that. Let's get it on with that. That said, let's open this box, this animal influence box, and hopefully it doesn't translate to what I think it does, because when I heard this, I was like, animal influence, uh, sounds like it could be bad. But, you know, uh, Bambox usually isn't bad, bad. I mean, there's been like, you know, one box that I, a lot of people thought was actually bad. There were a lot of circumstances, but it's been a long time since that box, so. Um, usually they, they have something good. Um, as you know, I'm always a big fan of the art prints as well as the pins, so I'll be looking forward to these very much. Oh, and if we remember, I got a one-up last time. I'm assuming I probably won't get a one-up this time. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I got that really awesome uh, special blood splattered uh, Shaun of the Dead pin. Really cool. Once again, tissue paper that my cat will totally love. And that's perfect, a gift for her in the animal influence box. Oh, ho, 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 two. Wonderful. Chloe's going to love that. Chloe, Chloe. I don't know where she is. You might hear her playing with it at some point during this. All right, so I'm, I'll just do the pin first. God, I love the pins. Uh, it's a, it's a gorilla. Is this Harambe? Is this friggin' Harambe? No, it, it's not. It's King Kong, like a King Kong pin. Um, it's just, this is interesting. I've not seen this backing or this uh, cardboard for their pins before. I don't know if this means like I got a more exclusive one or something, but you can see. And it says like limited edition enamel pin. Maybe this is just the way they're going with it. So there's like a picture of a gorilla back there. I don't know why they felt like they needed to do that, but it kind of like messes with your ability to perceive the actual pin. You can see the actual pin here. It's King Kong. I mean, that's fine. That's cool. Um, not the most iconic thing, though. One of the things with these pins, I really like it to be like immediately recognizable. The thing with King Kong in general is King Kong doesn't really have any discernible markings or anything that you can put on there and the people be like, oh, it's King Kong. It's more just like, it's a gorilla. It, who is that? And then people say King Kong, you're like, oh, okay, so it's King Kong. He's mainly known for his size, and you can't really show that with a pin. So I eh, may have liked to see something different. But once again, with the pins that they have, they're extremely awesome quality. They look like the designs look good. It's just concept. So, eh, eh. 
got something in a little. Well, I have I have a patch. I'm gonna do this patch next. I haven't been huge on. Oh, I was just saying in in mid saying I haven't been big on patches. I'm not huge into that, but it's freaking Thundercats, man, which is awesome. I was obsessed with Thundercats when I was younger. I watched it initially uh, when I was a little kid, but then I also watched it um, when I was in like middle school and high school too, when it was on Cartoon Network with the Toonami programming. I would watch it like every day after school. So uh, I have a long love affair with Thundercats. So this, I might have to find something to do with this patch actually. I actually have a Thundercats hoodie that it's just basically this emblem. A totally black hoodie with like a red inside. And then it has this emblem on the chest, like really large, but it's textured. Like it's kind of like a rug a little bit. It's really nice. And uh, I love Thundercats. So that's cool. If I was going to have to get a, uh, a patch, I'm glad it was something like that. So there's something in a box. Oh, actually, I think I might have a one up. Let me, let me. There's something in a box, but I think I have a one up. I do. Congratulations, you got a 1-Up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. So, since the pin, the, the King Kong pin said limited edition enamel pins, I'm assuming that's my my 1-Up. That's cool, I got two 1-Ups in a row, I like that. But I'm not huge on the thing. I'm interested to see what the normal one was. So anyway, there's a little box here. So let's see this interesting little box. And the outside of it looks a little bit like snakeskin, which uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you. Uh, you can kind of see the texture in that. There you go. Light's hitting it kind of a little bit so you can see the texture. So it's kind of like snakeskin. So I wonder if it's going to be like snake-like. Oh, this is actually cool. Okay. They're dog tags. Wolverine dog tags. Oh, man, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, so these are like the replica every now and then, or actually I know a lot of the times, but I, I think they've missed it in a few of their boxes. They try and do like replica items from movies and stuff like that. So dog tags. Um, so here you go. On the one side it's uh, let me see if you, Logan. Try and get the glare off. And on the other side it is obviously Wolverine. And the Logan. And a Wolverine, and it's two of them, which is, you know, true to what they would actually do. They'd have one to identify the body and one for someone to take to match with the body. Um, yeah, that's cool. For an item that's going to be like a replica, this is one of the better replica items I've seen from them. I think the other one, which I didn't get, I, I hadn't signed up at that point, was the, the miniature baseball bat with the nails in it uh, for the... Uh, as the Demogorgon killer from Stranger Things. Yeah. Which, by the way, the Stranger Things season two trailer is awesome. Especially because Vincent Price is, has his voice in it. I love Vincent Price. Awesome. All right, next thing. There's another thing in a box. Let's see what this is. <laughs> okay, so to preface this, they did say with this box in their social media, if you're getting this box, you will be sorted into a house in like a Harry Potter house for Hogwarts. So I have been sorted with this item, and it is, I'm Slytherin apparently, but I don't know exactly what this is. I mean, it's just like, I mean, it looks like it could have been a pin, but then it's just on some leather. It's kind of weird. I mean, the emblem's well done, and it's on some leather. I don't know what you do with this. Like, what do you do with this? That's kind of an odd item for me. I'm like, eh. I don't know if I really like that for that reason. Fun idea to be like, oh, you'll be sorted into a house. So for people who are like big into Harry Potter, people would be cool with that. But it's kind of a weird item. All right, the next thing. It is. Oh, this is the art print. Oh, wow. This is a cool ass art print, man. Okay, so, and this is what I say. I love the pins, but I also really, really love the art prints in here. The art prints are so cool. I like to put them up on my wall in the basement in my man cave uh so this one is number 293 out of 500 so i don't know maybe this was my one up i don't know but this is nice look at this this is spider-man homecoming had just come out recently obviously if you don't know that i don't know who you are um 
Spider-Man holding who I assume would be Mary Jane after she got killed. That is really good looking. Like, look at this. Look at look at how good that is. That looks really nice. That is such a good job on that. Um, so this is from their fan art collection, apparently. The print is called Death of... Gw oh, Gwen Stacy. Okay, that was going to be my other guess. Oh, I should have known because it's blonde hair. Or it looks blonde, at least. Um, Mary Jane's red. So, I should have known that. Uh, it's been hand-signed by the artist Logan Pack. Um, yeah, you can see where the signature is down there. Um, awesome work, Logan Pack. Like, that looks... That's really nice. I like that quite a bit. Next item. I think it might be the last item at this point. Okay, so this is the other thing. Um, so, recently... Was it two boxes ago, maybe? We had that signed uh, picture of the guy who voices Yoda for Star Wars Rebels, I believe. So this is another type thing of a voice actor. And it is da -da -da -da, hand signed by Greg Sipes, or Sips, who voiced Beast Boy on the show Teen Titans. I mean, that's cool. I'm not into Teen Titans. Well, I mean, I guess maybe I could be. I've never even tried watching it, so... I'm just assume, I just don't really have much interest in it is all. So there's Beast Boy right there. That's who this guy voices. So that's cool. Um, not my thing, but someone will like this. What a what a signature, by the way. Look at that. <laughs> that's an easy one to do. See, that's that's clearly a person that's had to do enough autographs that they've been like, let me really simplify my autograph so it's way quicker. Or maybe he just did it while he was doing this, because I'm sure he had to do a lot. He's just like, oh, God, let me make this easier. Okay, so that was it for the box. Actually, a pretty decent amount of stuff. Box is empty. There you go. And they have, they switched to a paper, which honestly, they were doing booklets before, and switching to a paper is, uh, it's fine with me. I don't, it, it's not that big of a deal. Some people might not like it, but whatever. So, um... So the, oh, it was fan art for the pins, actually. Um, collection pins from artists. The artist who did them is called Create and Destroy. So the, I did not get the limited edition one, actually, for the pin. Uh, the limited edition was Donkey Kong. Look at that. That Donkey Kong limited edition one's super sweet. I actually wish I would have gotten that. Um, that's really cool. And then the one that we got, well, that I got was the King Kong. And is that like Gorilla Grodd or something? Is that who that is? I don't know. Or maybe it says in here. No, it doesn't say. It just says a bunch of different. Oh, yeah. No, it is Gorilla Grodd. It says so. Huh. I was right. All right. Nice. I don't even know anything about him. Pulled that out of my ass. Um, so the King Kong was a release of 3,000 of them. The Gorilla Grodd was 1,000, and the Donkey Kong was only 250. So if you got a Donkey Kong, you're very lucky. Then we had the prop replica Wolverine dog tags. I don't need to show you the picture. You saw a good, you know, a good thing about them. Um, so it just kind of talks about how they're made. Like, you don't really need to know that. Got the Thundercats, which is done by fan art. Oh, it was from the same artist. Uh, create and Destroy, who did the pins, also did the artwork on the Thundercats logo. I don't understand. I don't understand that, because that's the Thundercats logo. Like, I don't know. Okay, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not really fan art. But then there's the Hogwarts schools. Um, and what does it say this is? Uh, so it tells you you get one of each of the houses. If it's uh, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. Um, it doesn't say what this is. It just says Hogwarts schools. And they're divided into four houses. So, like, it doesn't even tell you what this thing is. It, it's literally like, here's this thing we just put together. It's not like a real thing, but we just, there you go. I don't really like that. Then there's obviously the signing for that Teen Titans autograph. Um, don't need to show you anything for that or tell you anything about that. And then there was the Death of Gwen Stacy fan art collection print by Logan Pack. So that's where I got my one up. Uh, the black and white, which actually it's not fully black and white. There's some other tones in there, but kind of black and white was the limited edition version, which there were only 500 of. 
Then there was the regular one, which is the same thing, but it's colored. So I wish there was a little bit more of a difference there, but it's still cool. Honestly, if I was going to get a one up, I really wish I would have gotten that Donkey Kong pin instead because with this, I would have still gotten this. It was just colored instead of, you know, black and white. So, um, you know what? I'm not. I thought I was going to be pretty disappointed with this, but I actually wasn't all that disappointed. And that was based off the theme like that. And that's the thing. That's one of the things I'm like, so glad these themes are going because it. I feel like I'm just going to be totally psyched going in each time because I'm just going to be like, no theme, like anything could be in there. Who knows? Going to be great. Um, but like, because like with this theme, I was just like, oh, animal influence, not excited. But it ended up being pretty good. Uh, don't like the Harry Potter thing because it's, what is it? This is not really for me, but I recognize there will be people who like it. Um, I don't usually like patches, but this actually hit it for me. Hit it out of the park as far as patches go because my love affair with Thundercats. Not huge on the pin, but it looks good for what it is. Wish I would have got the Donkey Kong. Um, the dog tags, the Wolverine dog tags were, were really a smart move, and they came out really well. They look really good, and they're heavy too. Like, they're heavy metal. And this print, this print is super awesome. So, as long as you're giving me for Bambox for my taste as long as you're giving me like a well-made pin and I don't, I don't always have to love them uh, but as long as they look good and you know they're well made and I get a good art print I'm happy with the box basically so so for my expectations this was kind of I guess maybe like a half and half type box um, but pretty good I, I enjoy some of this stuff this is definitely going on the wall oh that's nice Oh, but anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Let's get super excited for the August box when that hits because I already know what some of the uh, franchises are going to be because they put it on social media. So I won't say it here because if you don't want to know and you want to go in totally blind for my next, um, you know, my next uh, video, I don't want to spoil that for you. So I won't tell you, but I know some of the stuff I am excited about some of them. Other ones I'm like, we'll, we'll see, but Regardless, excited to get going on this. No theme. Bambox, you rock. Uh, always have a good time with this. But everyone else out there who watches these videos, you guys rock too. You guys rock even harder than Bambox, actually, because you're looking at my content. So anyway, thank you, everyone. Uh, actually, if you want to contact me for whatever reason, you can obviously leave a comment. But you can also send me a, an email to my podcast email. I do a beer podcast, by the way. Uh, brutal battle podcast at gmail.com and brutal is spelled B R E W T A L and brutal battle podcast gmail.com. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out and please remember keep it brutal.